Hello, it's Valentina V, and in the last video, we went over how to use motion graphics templates from the Adobe Stock Marketplace and modify them to your Premiere Pro projects. In this video, I'll show you how you can take a graphic created in After Effects and turn it into a motion graphics template for Premiere. Here's the graphic I created. I also want to implement some rules. For example, the box can never be smaller than the text, so depending on which line is bigger, the box will always grow with it. I also want everything to have a color picker and an opacity slider, including the color of the background. I also want to be able to change the roundness of the corners, the thickness of the outline, the duration, and the scale and size of both the template itself and just the box. And most importantly, I want the user to be able to pick their own font. Explaining how to create all this will probably take hours, so instead, boom, here it is. These brown layers at the bottom are static. They are for the background color and for the intro animation. The two purple layers you see are the text itself. The blue layers are for the outline shape of the box. The yellow layers are for the fill shape of the box. And all of those red layers at the top are null layers. They contain the expression controls that I need in order to accomplish all of the parameters in this template and all of the animations. To start creating the template, open the Essential Graphics panel under the Window menu. Select the master composition that you'll be working off of. Now I'm going to start making editable parameters. For the text, I'll go to each text layer, and under Text, I'll grab the source text and drag it into the Essential Graphics window. I'll change the name of the parameter to Top Text so that the user knows that's what they'll be typing in. I'll select Edit Properties, and this is where I'll enable font selection, size adjustment, and faux styles. I'll do the same thing for the bottom text. By the way, it's important to note that these text edit properties will only work if your text layer is in the master composition. To add the parameters for text color, text position, and text opacity, I'm going to first go into Effects and Presets and go to Generate Fill and add that effect to my text layer. Then I'll also open up the position and opacity transform controls. Then I'll go to the top layer, that null layer that I've called Expression Controls, and add the effects color control, slider control, and point control. I will rename them top text color, top text opacity, and top text position respectively. I'm going to lock the expression controls in the top left corner, and now I can pick whip each of these parameters in the timeline to the expression controls I just created. Now I can take the expression controls and drag them into the essential graphics panel and rename them. As you can see now, whenever I change something in the Essential Graphics panel, my template is updated also. Now I'll go through all of the expression controls I've made and put them into the Essential Graphics panel, renaming them as I go. On the bottom left of the Essential Graphics panel, I'll go to Add Formatting and select Add Group. That'll let me group these parameters into categories and name those categories. It's customary to name them all using all caps. I'll do Global Controls for the Background, Intro Animation, and the Overall Size and Position. I'll group my text controls into their own subgroups, one for top text and one for bottom text, and I'll group all of the shape controls, naming them box controls. I can also edit the range of the slider controls. For example, I don't want the user to adjust the box width by more than negative 300 pixels, but I want them to be able to make it really wide in case they want to fill the whole frame, so I'll set the max at 2000. I'm going to make sure that it can change duration. First, I'll put my playhead at the very beginning and select Composition, Responsive Design, Time, Create Intro. Then I'll make this intro just one frame. I'll do that again, this time for Create Outro, and do just one frame again. There are also two areas of animation within my template. I don't want them to move as the user is changing the duration. So I will put my playhead at one frame, select B to trim the beginning of my work area, then put the playhead at 224 and click N to trim the end of my work area. I'll right click and select Create Protected Region from Work Area. I'll do the same thing to the outro I created at the end. And then I'll stretch my work area back to fit the entire composition. Now before I export my template, I will put my playhead in the best looking frame of my composition and click Set Poster Frame, which will create what the thumbnail of my template will look like in my library. I'm going to name it Slice and Reveal Title, save my project, and export it saving it to my local drive. I can now import it into Premiere Pro by clicking the Install Motion Graphics Template in the bottom right corner and selecting it in my finder. There it appears at the top of my library. I can now drag it on top of clips and manipulate it to have many different looks and uses. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new about how to create a motion graphics template using After Effects. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to tweet me at Valentina V.